Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Tisha. Today we're going to do a current burn candle review and today we're talking Sweet Red Mango from Bath & Body Works. So I've been sharing with you these as I've been getting them in. I first got in Strawberry Daiquiri, Pink Pineapple Sunrise, and now I'm on my third scent. This scent I picked up in store. I did an exchange for some of the like the Spring Plum and Blackberries set. I, I had backed all of those up and I wasn't really feeling them so I took back fresh candles and I grabbed a few of these and this was one that I did want to try but when I smelled it in store I was like are they seriously not like telling people how good this is so just so you know if you're not loving this candle I got a good batch and I'm going to be doing a five to ten minute rave about this candle because it is amazing so just take that into consideration when you're thinking about purchasing it so let's do what we try to do um in an orderly fashion let's talk about the packaging this collection grabbed me right away but this one in particular was a nice like red to yellow um muted vibrant colors like they're muted but at the same time they're really neon they got a little bit of holographicness to them when you get them in the light just right i love the lids i've been saying it in every one but i just like when they do a special lid it just makes the candle feel a little bit more special um the wax is white my my um, wicks in this one are pretty thin, but they were doing an amazing job of pulling out this candle. Now, oh my gosh, I literally tried not to like squeal, or, like be a weirdo. This is, smells so good. It's so good. So this is ripe mango, sunny peach, pineapple juice with natural essential oils. When I heard that, I was like, you know, I've probably never even tried a mango. I love fruit, but like I just, you know, I like strawberries and bananas and stuff. Um, peach is hit or miss sometimes it's really good and sometimes it's so not and pineapple as you guys know i love that fruity pineapple scent so i was like okay i'm gonna definitely try one but when i smelled this i picked up like two i was like holy moly this is so good so what i get is like tropical skittles like of course if you know your fruits really well you probably would say no this is like the legit fruit or this one smells like you know artificial i am just getting like this beautiful tropical skittles sweet candied i mean so it's probably candied mango you know type of thing but again since i've never tried the real mango i don't want to speak to that but i'm not taking away from the fact that this is probably really authentic to those of you that love mango i need to try one um don't get a lot of fruit in my low carb life but i do do like berries and stuff like that moving on so this is like tropical skittles but you guys this is a 12 out of 10 and i i don't try to do that out very often this as soon as like again so i don't really trim my wicks very often i do take off the little toppers when i started up again um so i was lighting this one and i just started this one in my big open concept because i actually the other tropics i had done like one three days ago and then i let a day go by and then i did another one and i did them in different rooms i mean i do reset with some candles but to that extent, you know, that I'm not smelling anything in the air when I go to light the candle. So I just was like, okay, this one is the strongest on cold. I'm going to start this one in my open concept. And I don't normally do that because the first burn, sometimes it just needs to get going. Um, and not every candle can just like start and, you know, start off the gate and be super strong. Um, so I, I hate to like judge or review a candle in the biggest space because I don't want my thoughts to get skewed on that. So I normally move it into the big space on my second burn. But I had just I had just done the pink pineapple and this was lingering in my bedroom. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this in the big space. You guys, as soon as this wick hit the wax and made that tiny little teardrop of um, melting, I could smell this candle. I'm not even being dramatic. I know that I'm dramatic. It was so yummy. So this candle is good I, I i really i mean it's beautiful packaging beautiful cold sn sniff scent beautiful on burn two burns in i'm still absolutely loving it please don't dud out on me or do anything weird but this candle is almost too strong to blend with other candles like you you would need something that would be able to keep up with this candle to blend it but that's nice to for those of us that don't want to do that this is a candle for you but you have to like sweet candied fruity sense there's no bubbly if i say bubbly i mean like bubbly happy there's no drink note in here it's just a really true like sweet fruit juice type of thing tropical skittles but for me the most amazing part was the throw i thought the throw was crazy good um crazy good and like almost too strong for a small room unless you just really love a fruity sweetness which i do so this can go at you know i could burn this in the car so that's not safe 
but that's a real small space if you know what I mean but this does really well in a big space so if you want to get a couple candles in the tropical it you know collection for when it gets nicer and you have big giant rooms that you need to fill this is the candle for you now I know and like I keep saying in every video watch multiple reviews so that you get a really good idea if you would like this candle I'm hyping it up because I really really like it but that's that's my true feelings I really really like it like I'm gonna probably get three or four backups of this candle so that I can burn one every other week and have a couple of my clients. Like you're going to see hauls with this candle. And I'm really hoping every time I open it, it smells just like this one. Because again, I feel like I've heard people say this had nothing. And I'm like, did they, oh, my puppy, you can hear him in the background. Um, did, did they pick up the same candle as me? Like I, I almost feel like I won like some kind of little like candle lottery over here because what I'm hearing people say zero throw and this is knocking me out. And a lot of candles don't. A lot of candles, I can see where they're coming from when people say pyros, but that wouldn't have been my first thought. I was like, it's good. It's nice. So when I'm like, this is like pink watermelon shocking to me. And so that would probably be the only candle I could actually pair this with that would be able to keep up. So I do recommend this candle highly. I will be repurchasing it. But if it doesn't give me on cold what this one did, then there could be inconsistencies in batches, which is with any product. Um, but I'm definitely recommending it if you love strong fruity scents. This is the candle. This is pink watermelon of the year. I'm promising you. You're hearing it here first, I hope. Because I don't watch everybody. So maybe I'm repeating someone else's thoughts. But anyway, so there's sweet red mango. I know that was all good. I really can't think of anything critical to say. Because I might have just got a good one, but this is a good one. I was, I want to go, I'm going to go put this back out to burn. And typically after a current burn review, I'll put them away for a little bit so that, you know, I can keep going through the things I'm loving. I'm burning a couple of winter, but I'm burning, burning like pink fairy gumdrop in my bedroom. And what's in the living room? Oh, butter pecan ice cream, which is doing really well. But it is like a nice mellow scent. Um, So this would take over it. So I guess I'll have to wait. But I can't wait to re to relight this and experience it again. So that's how much I like it. Now, real quickly, this candle I did share in the Pink Pineapple Sunrise, but I wanted to make sure I shared it in the Sweet Red Mango because I feel like this candle is the perfect blend of both. So if you have this one, you kind of already have a little bit of what the Sweet Red Mango and Pink Pineapple Sunrise are going to give you. This is just the pineapple and the mango together with sugar and coconut water. So it's kind of, I mean, they really need to bring this back out. It would be a shame if we didn't get this candle again. It had to sell well. Like, I don't know. Like, I slept on it for a little bit. Like, it was probably still spring when I slept on it. But I was picking this up before summer and burning this all summer last year. So I'm really hoping it comes out again. But this one comes to mind. Again, I don't have a ton of mango scents. I know there's been some in the past. But as you guys know, my collection isn't like all that old anymore because of my move. So, um, you know, I don't really have anything else with mango, but this candle came to mind immediately when I lit up pink pineapple sunrise and sweet red mango. I was like, oh, this, this is like the best of both worlds with Island Daydream, but this is a strong one too. So again, I would say this is the strongest. Well, no, these two are the same. Like I cannot say that this is really strong and then a little bit more mellow, but only because it just has that pineapple note is pink pineapple sunrise, but it's still really good. So those are my thoughts. I'm going to stop because honestly, I don't even know at this point if anybody's watching me, but um, that one lingers. Sweet red mango fills your space, sticks around. If you like fruity, happy scents like me, that's going to be your it girl for this summer, I think. So thank you guys so much. Let me know down below. Are you guys going to be burning any of the traffic collection? Are any of them interesting you? Are there any that I haven't talked about that you think I should try? Because there's always going to be another sale, right? Um, just any thoughts you have down below on this one or any of the other candles, I would love to chat with you guys in the comments. It's my favorite part. And until the next one, probably tomorrow, I'll talk to you later, friends. Bye.